Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the uh, Yarnspirations pom-pom hat. You can get this pattern off the Yarnspirations.com. I'm going to call it my color block hat. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to make the small size uh, which fits a child two to four years. Okay. This is actually my finished project. This is an adult size. I made the brim one color. I joined another color for the top hat and I made my pom-pom. You can see how the, the brim folds down. The brim is worked in rows back and forth. We're going to join it into a round and then we're going to pick up stitches up top. Something that I did differently than the pattern is when I picked up my stitches I just did a continuous spiral. I did not chain one join okay all I did was I finished my round and I went right into the next spot you can put a stitch marker on your brim to mark where the beginning and end of your round is and then you just keep uh, crocheting until you get the desired number of inches and then you're going to decrease for the top okay when you're done you fold the brim up and you have your hat Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make our brim. And it says to use an H hook, and we're going to chain 14, which is what I've already done. Now, the larger size, you would chain um, either 14 or 20. We're going to do 14 for the small one. We're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you've got one and two. Let me zoom this in so you can see a little bit better okay we're going to the second chain so not this one we're going this one and you just go in pull up a loop so there are two loops on your hook yarn over through both loops and that's a single crochet so again you go in pull up a loop have two loops on the hook yarn over and go through the last two loops you're going to do this until you have the desired number. Since I chained 14, I'm going to do this for 13. Okay, and you're going to continue until you get to the end of the row. Okay, so I've completed my 13 single crochets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and we're going to turn. Now, this pattern calls for us to crochet into the back loop. So, if we look at our top here, you see they form little V's. We're going to be going into the back loop. And we go into the very first stitch. So, you're going to insert your hook. And again, pull up one loop. And then we go into the next stitch in the back loop. Pull up a loop, finish your crochet, and you're going to do this until you get to the end of the round. And again, we're just working in the back loops. Okay, we've gotten to the end of row two. So for row three, we're going to chain one, flip, and then we work into the back loop again. You're going to continue doing this until your piece measures the desired length. For this pattern to work the small size, you're going to get go until you get 15 inches. So once you have reached your desired length, this is a bit shorter, but it's just for illustration purposes. This is what you'll have. You slightly stretch it. Okay, just give it a little stretch and then you measure from end to end to see if it's the desired length that you want. Once it's at your desired length, you're going to chain one, and now we're going to fold it in half without twisting. We're just going to bring the two ends together, and it doesn't really matter if you've ended on a right side or a wrong side. It's going to be kind of reversible. So uh, what we're going to do is Again, we're going to go through the back loops of the first part, 
and then the back loop of the second part and we're going to just single crochet them together so you bring your hook through both thicknesses and then finish your single crochet so back loop to back loop and over and we do this all the way across now if your foundation chain which is the one at the opposite end from where you were working if there's only one loop available then you just go through that one loop but you're going to continue going through both thicknesses all the way across okay and this is how we're going to make our loop and we're doing this with single crochets okay through both thicknesses all the way across. And one last one. Okay. Now, the pattern, and you could see how our joining round just looks like another rib stitch okay you can't really see okay the pattern calls for you to do this all in one color I like to add a little bit of a color pop so I'm gonna grab my second color and I will show you how to join them okay so with the yarn that you still have attached you're going to grab your new color and you're just going to chain one okay if you are sticking with the same color you would just continue with your old yarn and you would just chain one now we're going to single crochet across and again we look at our pattern for the small size you are going to be working um, 48 single crochets and the numbers increase as you move up in size so what you're going to do is you just go into wherever you can and you make a single crochet now what I like to do is if you look at your rows you can kind of see how there's a bit of a hill and a valley I like to go into the valley for the next stitch and then I go into the side of the hill Okay and you're just going into stitches wherever it looks like they can go so here is one I'm gonna go in this side for another one and then I go into this side here and you're just gonna continue going around until you have done the required number of stitches now sometimes you will find that you have too many rows and then you'll want to work a decrease and the way that we work a decrease is you insert your hook into and pick up a loop just like normal but then we go into the next stitch and pull up a third loop yarn over and go through all three loops so again the decrease you go in pick up one loop go into the next stitch pick up another loop yarn over and go through all three loops and that is if you're coming up with too many stitches at the end now you don't really want to work your decreases right next to each other you kind of want to give them a couple stitches across so that way they have a chance to blend in and they're not very noticeable now if you find out that you have too few stitches then you can increase and an increase is you just go in do a normal single crochet and then into that same spot you're going to do a second single crochet so you can see how we have two in here and again it's just go into the next spot do a single go into that same spot and do another single crochet okay so I'm going to go across and I will show you what it looks like once we've finished our first round picking up stitches across the edge of the brim.
Okay, so I have gone all the way around my piece and I'm right at the beginning. Now the pattern tells you to join with a slip stitch, chain one, and work the next row. When you do that, you're going to have a seam up the back of your hat. Since this is just straight crocheting for a little bit, I just like to go right into the next stitch and start my row two. Okay, so all I did was instead of joining, I'm going to make a spiral and I go right into the next stitch. Okay, and then I continue going round and round. Now, you have your joining and you also have your tail at the end, which tells you pretty much where the end of the row is. If you want, you can put a stitch marker here. Uh, you could adhere it to the gray part your brim part or you could put it at the end of each row um, I just put a marker here and then I continued crocheting it tells you to work straight and repeat the last round which is the si single crochet around the side until you have seven inches and what you would do is you would just measure from the the brim part up until you get to your seven inches. So you can see with this one, this one was the larger hat, so I worked till eight inches, and I measured eight inches from here up to here, was my eight inches up to here, okay? Once you get your eight inches done, then we work on the crown shaping, which you can see is up over here on your pattern. And it says to do one single crochet in each of the next four for the small. And then you're going to do SC2 together, which just means single crochet two stitches into one. And again, that is just go into one stitch, pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, pull up another loop yarn over and go through all three loops okay so the pattern says to do one single crochet in each of the next four so we do one two three four and then we would do our decrease which is we go in pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up another loop yarn over and go through all three loops now you're not going to work that decrease round until you have the right number of inches. Row two tells us that we're going to single crochet in each of the next three and then two together. You're going to repeat that around. Row three, you go into the next two and then decrease. Row four, you will go into the next stitch and then decrease. Now it depends on which size you're doing, they vary the decreases, but this is for the small, okay? And then when you're done, you will have your hat. And you just roll up the brim, like this, and then you make your pom-pom and you're all set, okay? And that is our color block hat.